Okay, beautiful people, welcome back. Welcome back to the special viewers. And today, what we're going to do is a little experiment. I want to see how much it costs to repair um, an MK, how much it costs to repair a building, and also share some thoughts on things like uh, selling. Maybe it's also worthwhile seeing how much it pays us back once we sell something like a harpy. Because I assume it's going to be, um, I assume it's going to be maybe 50%, but I could be wrong. And I was watching recently the uh, tournament, the 22nd birthday for Tiberian Sun tournament, and it looked like the guys that were uh, commentating actually were Red Alert players because they didn't realize that uh, you get 50% back when you um, buy, when you sell a refinery. So 6,800, let's uh, sell that. Actually, let's make another one. Um, 7,800. So $2,000 cost, $1,000 back. We get a $1,400 refinery plus five in infantry, which are 120 each. So that's just over, well, it's $600. Plus um, a $1,400 harvester is $2,000 worth of units. So we kind of know that. It does actually make me wonder if we can sell a refinery and uh, then sell the harvester on the service depot and make profit. So $1,400 back, and that's $700. So it actually should be $2,100. So if there's no Tiberium at all... Oh, wait a second. Oops, building the wrong things. If there's no Tiberium at all, then you should be able to make $100 back just by selling um, halves and selling refineries. So we'll test out that theory in a moment. In particular, what I really want to know is, can we... Uh, might as well use Titans. Uh, what is the cost for repairing a construction yard and also for repairing an MK? And we are going to find that out. Shouldn't need to have too many, too many harvesters for this uh, little experiment. Just going to get the uh, service depot. Now remember, you can use uh, five harpies for a um, if you want to kill an MK or a main building, um, and then you can sell those harpies instead of reloading them and buying new pads. Uh, it just does take a little while to repair them. Oh, sorry, to sell them on the uh, on the pad. So what's the first experiment we want to do? Okay, we want to test out the cost of repairing a building. This is good to know if you're getting attacked by a uh, JJ and it's actually better to sell the building instead of um, repairing it. So let's take this down to one health. Okay, cool. Let's hope it doesn't blow. Uh, perfect. All right, so let's now... Oh, it's full of uh, tib anyway. So let's stop those harvests for the moment. 2,857. Just give me a moment. I'm going to write that down. Do some math on that in a moment. So, oops. Sorry, guys, holding you up. 2,857. Let's start the uh, repair on that. And uh, see what we get to. We can't build the MK and we can't build the tech center at the moment because it'll throw our numbers off in that um, top right hand corner. Um, so far, halfway through, only about, what, $200? Should get my calculator out as well on my uh, phone. Okay, so the final figure is. 2,509, so not a particularly round figure, it's not 2,557 because that would be $300, but let's get the calculator and figure out, oh wait a second, calculator, so we take 2857, negative 2509, and we get $348, $348, and as a percentage of 2,000, that's a very strange number by the way. That is 17.4%. So it costs you 17.4% to repair a building. Uh, interesting. So, and we can see that um, that ref being overloaded didn't affect things. Very strange figure. So 17.4%.
Because I actually have heard people say sometimes it's not um, worth repairing an MK uh, because it's just going to cost just as much to repair it and you're going to spend more time microing it um, and it's vulnerable while it's on that service depot. So let's put that down. Let's get that uh, MK. So the MK is uh, 3000. In fact, what I might also do is just test another building as well and see, particularly because it's a $2,500 building or unit. You can see it there. Take that down to 1%. Hope I don't blow it. Um, oh, jeez, okay. Helps if I'm, uh... I've got enough money. So MK, $3,000 unit. We're going to damage that and try not to blow it. Get it right down to its, uh... Well, maybe just an approximation. I guess that's really all we need. Okay. Maybe I should have uh, loaded up those halves as well okay so here's the mk let's now go forward with um we'll repair this in a moment i just want to get some more money in the bank account so we're going to start at what five five hundred okay that's good enough hold that guy there so we're going to start at eleven thousand eighty four i'm going to repair it and see where we get to. Again, this is a $2,500 building. And next we're going to do the MK. So I guess we can assume we're going to see uh, a similar 17.4% uh, cost. And again, it's not that expensive to repair buildings. Uh, and again, if you're using NGs to repair buildings when you don't need to, this is again a case that uh, it's half as expensive to... Okay, so 800 834. It's half as expensive by the look of things to, well, actually not half, to use um, the repair instead of the NG. Unless it's strapped for cash in case, uh, in that case, it may be better to use an NG. Okay, so let's do uh, 1184, negative 839, 345. So that's actually quite similar to what we're getting for the um, war factory. And again, the um, construction yard does have higher health. Divide that by um, 2,500, and we're now at 13.8%. So 13 or 14% uh, repair cost for a construction yard. Let's damage up that um, MK. And the other thing is the MK is going to repair itself, so it's going to be hard to figure out. So let's see if I can get it. Yeah, so it is repairing itself at the moment. Okay, so how are we going to do this? Eighteen forty-four. Let's see what we get to. Actually, stop that harvester. What was it? Eighteen forty-four. Eighteen forty-four. So the MK is also repairing itself. I don't know if that's going to affect things, but. Now it's not repairing itself after it gets to half health on green. Okay, we're at fifteen fifty. So over three hundred dollars, three fifty. Okay, fourteen sixty six. Let's do the math on that. Oops, okay, so 1844, negative 1466 is $378. So what we can say is that across the board, you're looking at $350 to repair a war factory, construction yard, or an MK. Um, let's now sell the MK and see what kind of money we get back for it. Actually, before I do that, so we are at 1466. I'm expecting... 1,500, because again, our MK is worth 3,000, 1,466, oops, try that again, 14, oh wow, okay, that is not a 50% sell, um, alright, let's do the math on this, so 1,466, 2, 9, Six six, so things on the service depot do not sell at fifty percent. 
let me just get the uh, figures for you. 2966 negative 1644 equals oh no i'm incorrect sorry that is 1500 it is 50 percent on the uh service depot um yeah so that's the experiment for today guys i think it's an interesting one so you can as i said make um five walker fighters need to be a bit quicker and actually i wonder if these things i don't think if you s sell them while they have anything in them it sells them for anything more, but we'll test that as well. Okay, so two Orca fighters. 506. 506 to... 506 is $700. So you can, in fact, produce a Tiberium refinery, sell it and sell the harvester and make a $100 profit, and uh, which is something that Nod cannot do. Um... Which, I mean, really, the only reason you do that is for an infantry production strategy. Because you do get the infantry on top of that. But I'm talking just financially. You do get the extra $100 back. So even if there's blue Tiberium in the harvester, it still sells for $700. Which is 50% of what you can buy a harvester for. So uh, $1,000 back plus... Um, oh, wait a second. So $700... No, I think I'm incorrect. So it's $1,700. You get $1,700 back. So you're $300 short if you sell a Tiberium refinery and a um, harvester. Sorry, I was wrong with that. So, And again, this is just me experimenting and, and trying things out. Um, so I, I did kind of get the math a bit wrong on some of those things. So once you've expended your harpies, you can then take them home, put them on the um, service. Oh, geez, they're really quick. And you got to be careful because, uh, yeah, and you will get $500 back. So for $5,000, you can produce a quick attack, um, I guess, a quick attack on a building or an MK, um, and then sell it back for $2,500. So the attack would cost you $2,500 plus uh, the um, time required to micro. And there's, in fact, a, a good possibility that you will also mess up and um, sell the service depot instead of the actual harpy so yeah it's only that moment that you're getting to actually to sell it when it's um green um but that's it for me guys hope that's useful those were things i were wondering for quite a while so 50 percent for the service pad um 1700 back for the tiberium refinery and the harvester uh plus those five infantry usually five sometimes even as low as three yeah, you gotta be really careful when you get that um, you get that orca fighter, so that you don't actually sell the service depot as well. But um, yeah, hopefully you guys find that useful. Um, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Again, always pay attention to the blue Tiberium um, figures. I think it's thirteen seventy five versus maybe seven hundred and fifty, and I think it f worked out to be something like thirty five percent more for blue Tiberium. So it always pays to put your halves on the blue tip first. So you've got uh, cash earlier that you can put into effect earlier in the game uh, and buy more stuff that you can put pressure on your opponent earlier instead of taking the, um, the green Tiberium. Anyway, guys, um, hope that's useful and I'll catch you in the next episode.